Module 1, Threats, Attacks, and Vulnerabilities, Set 1. Viruses A computer virus is a type of computer program that, when executed, replicates itself by modifying other computer programs and inserting its own code. The virus writes its own code into the host program. When the program runs, the written virus program is executed first, causing infection and damage. Crypto Malware Malware, short for malicious software, is a kind of software that can be installed on a computer without approval from the computer's owner. There are different kinds of malware that can hurt computers, such as viruses and Trojan horses. When security software is not installed, malware can get into the computer. Ransomware Ransomware is a type of malware. It restricts access to the computer system that it infects or the data that it stores, often using encryption techniques, and demands a ransom be paid to the creator, S, of the malware. Worm a computer worm is a standalone malware computer program that replicates itself in order to spread to other computers. Worms almost always cause at least some harm to the network, even if only by consuming bandwidth, whereas viruses almost always corrupt or modify files on a targeted computer. Trojan In computing, a Trojan horse, or simply Trojan, is any malware which misleads users of its true intent. Trojans may allow an attacker to access users' personal information such as banking information, passwords, or personal identity. It can also delete a user's files or infect other devices connected to the network. Rootkit A rootkit is a collection of computer software, typically malicious, designed to enable access to a computer or an area of its software that is not otherwise allowed, for example, to an unauthorized user, and often masks its existence or the existence of other software. Keylogger Keystroke logging, often referred to as keylogging or keyboard capturing, is the action of recording, logging, the keys struck on a keyboard, typically coveredly, so that a person using the keyboard is unaware that their actions are being monitored. A keystroke recorder or keylogger can be either software or hardware. Adware Adware is an advertising computer program that can be put there by other people on someone's computer, sometimes without their permission. When someone downloads it, it installs Adware on their computer that then sends advertisements to the computer. Spyware Spyware is a category of software for computers. Spyware is malware that collects some data, usually without the computer user's knowledge. Keyligers can steal important information like passwords that you type. Bots An internet bot, web robot, robot, or simply bot, is a software application that runs automated tasks, scripts, over the internet. Typically, bots perform tasks that are simple and repetitive, much faster than a person could. More than half of all web traffic is generated by bots. RAT, Remote Access Trojan A remote access Trojan, RAT, sometimes called creepware, is a type of malware that controls a system through a remote network connection. While desktop sharing and remote administration have many legal uses, RAT connotes criminal or malicious activity. Logic Bomb a logic bomb is a piece of code intentionally inserted into a software system that will set off a malicious function when specified conditions are met. As an example, trial programs with code that disable certain functionality after a set time are not normally regarded as logic bombs. Backdoor A backdoor is a typically covered method of bypassing normal authentication or encryption in a computer, product, embedded device, e.g. a home router, or its embodiment, e.g. part of a crypto system, algorithm, chipset, or even a homunculus computer or a tiny computer within a computer such as that found in Intel's AMT. Social engineering Social engineering, security, 
obtaining confidential information by manipulating and slash or deceiving people and artificial intelligence. Phishing Phishing is the fraudulent attempt to obtain sensitive information or data, such as usernames, passwords, and credit card details or other sensitive details, by impersonating oneself as a trustworthy entity in a digital communication. Phishing is an example of social engineering techniques used to deceive users. Spear phishing Phishing attempts directed at specific individuals or companies is known as spear phishing. In contrast to bulk phishing, spear phishing attackers often gather and use personal information about their target to increase their probability of success of the attack. Whaling Whaling The term whaling refers to spear phishing attacks directed specifically at senior executives and other high-profile targets. The content will be likely crafted to target an upper manager and the person's role in the company, an executive issue such as a subpoena or customer complaint. Tailgating So, in technical terms of tailgating definition, it is a widespread security breach in which unauthorized personnel gets the passage to the premises of an organization either accidentally or forcefully by manipulating the authorized user. Impersonation a process by which a web application assumes the identity of a particular user and thus gains all the privileges to which that user is entitled. Dumpster diving Dumpster diving means searching trash for useful information. The trash may be in a public dumpster or in a restricted area requiring unauthorized entry. Many things can be found dumpster diving, example CDs, DVDs, hard drives, company directories, and so forth. Shoulder surfing In computer security, shoulder surfing is a type of social engineering technique used to obtain information such as personal identification numbers, pins, passwords, and other confidential data by looking over the victim's shoulder, either from keystrokes on a device or sensitive information being spoken and heard. Hooks a computer virus hoax is a message warning the recipients of a non-existent computer virus threat. The message is usually a chain email that tells the recipients to forward it to everyone they know, but it can also be in the form of a pop-up window. Watering hole attack Watering hole is a computer attack strategy in which an attacker guesses or observes which websites an organization often uses and infects one or more of them with malware. Eventually, some member of the targeted group will become infected. Intimidation The Congressional Research Service defines cyberterrorism as the politically motivated use of computers as weapons or as targets by subnational groups or clandestine agents intent on violence to influence an audience or cause a government to change its policies. Consensus the consensus problem requires agreement among a number of processes, or agents, for a single data value. The processes must somehow put forth their candidate values, communicate with one another, and agree on a single consensus value. The consensus problem is a fundamental problem in control of multi-agent systems. Trust In information security, Computational trust is the generation of trusted authorities or user trust through cryptography. In centralized systems, security is typically based on the authenticated identity of external parties. Urgency Urgent computing is prioritized and immediate access on supercomputers and grids for emergency computations such as severe weather prediction during matters of immediate concern. Dose Denial of service. In computing, a denial of service attack, DOS attack, is a cyber attack in which the perpetrator seeks to make a machine or network resource unavailable to its intended users by temporarily or indefinitely disrupting services of a host connected to the Internet. DDoS, Distributed Denial of Service. A distributed denial of service, DDoS, Attack occurs when multiple systems flood the bandwidth or resources of a targeted system, usually one or more web servers.
It also makes it difficult to distinguish legitimate user traffic from attack traffic when spread across multiple points of origin. Man in the middle. In cryptography and computer security, a man in the middle, monster in the middle, machine in the middle, monkey in the middle, MITM, or person in the middle, PITM, attack is a cyber attack where the attacker secretly relays and possibly alters the communications between two parties who believe that they are directly. Buffer overflow. In information security and programming, a buffer overflow, or buffer overrun, is an anomaly where a program, while writing data to a buffer, overruns the buffer's boundary and overwrites adjacent memory locations. Injection Computing Code injection, a security violation technique using unexpected program modification. Dependency injection, a programming design pattern, also referred to as inversion of control. Cross-site scripting, XXS Cross-site scripting, XSS, is a type of security vulnerability typically found in web applications. XSS attacks enable attackers to inject client-side scripts into web pages viewed by other users. A cross-site scripting vulnerability may be used by attackers to bypass access controls such as the same origin policy.